All right, so we're troubleshooting um, this issue, and the end user reports um, poor performance on the network in this case. And when the ISP was contacted, they said, oh, one of your computers is overutilizing the bandwidth on the network. You know, maybe it has a virus or something. Well, um, we looked at the computers on the network, and if you look at... Uh, if you open a task manager up on a computer and you go to performance and you click the resource monitor and if you look at the resource monitor on a computer and if you look at the overview tab and you look at what is you know using bandwidth for example you can see here under the network list you can sort by total bytes per second and see what's coming in and out of the network in my case, there's nothing really spectacular happening, but in that case of that particular PC we're, we're looking at remotely, there is. So we can figure out exactly what s executable is doing the most bandwidth. And when you see an executable and it says SVC host, like this, um, like this, and it's, it's the troublemaker, you're always like, well, what's SVC host, right? And so that's actually an executable that runs services. And underneath that is a PID here, 1292. And PID 1292 is going to actually be the answer to our troubles. And it's not PID 1292 uh, in, in our real life example here because, like I said, I remoted into to this other computer. So let me do a command from the command prompt task list slash SVC because I want to list all of my PIDs and I already identified that um, the PID in the actual computer that's giving me the trouble is 1092 and um, if we look here I have copied the services under 1092 just the name of services here to this list here so app info bits browser cert prop DOS, SVC, IKXD, all these services are running under this one 1092. So if we can't, if we actually crashed PID 1092, we would crash all these services and surely the problem would probably go away, but we wouldn't know which one of these was the actual issue. So we can't just go terminating SVC host.exe. We can't just go killing PID 1092 because it's the trouble. We have to actually look at the individual services that are underneath it and we have to manually go through and, and stop each one until we have an effect that that we like. Now, as I have already troubleshot this, I have done this already. So SC stop and we start going through type like app info. Okay. And we would see if that had the if that had the effect. Let's just do this real quick. Okay, so I type SC stop app info. It says, you know, it's in a state running. Uh, Okay, so then I might say, okay, that didn't do anything. SC start app info. Maybe it's it's probably not even stop necessarily. Yeah, okay. SC stop. Now watch this. Bits. Now bits is the background intelligent transfer service. And it is actually related to like Windows updates. And it's not necessarily like the one thing that it could have been. I mean, yesterday I was working with an issue, same exact issue, and it was the LFS SVC, which is uh, like geolocation services. And so it can be anything, right? And so like sometimes what happens is um, sometimes a service has a problem. Either, either it can't do its job properly or it's corrupt or even a virus can get embedded into that service and run through that service and try to run as that service or run as the privilege level of that service. Um, it's not necessarily a virus though, just because you see this kind of stuff. So we can see we stopped the bit service and suddenly the problem stopped. And if we start bits, then we will see the problem will come back. soon as that service starts we're running 136 kilobits per second here and now we should start to see that kind of shoot up 
and now we're going to be maxing out our, in this case, it's like an ADSL pipe this particular site has, so they have a pretty poor internet connection, and, you know, 1.5 megabits is all they get, and um, maybe there's an update that's coming down to the computer. Maybe if we looked at the disk I.O. on the computer, we might see, like, this disk I.O. is indicating that, like, there's a lot of files that are being written to and modified here, perhaps. So if we remote it into the computer and we looked at like what exactly is it that, you know, is giving us high disk I.O., we would see exactly what, you know, what files are being written by this background intelligence transfer service. And, and maybe those files are the same ones that are just constantly over and over and over and over and over again. And maybe it's trying to download an update and install it and it's crashing and it's downloading an update and installing and it's crashing and it's causing and it's propagating this. Maybe that's what's going on. But, you know, the overall effect on the network is that the end users are having massive problems. So we'll just go stop bits, and then we can have a tech sort out exactly why that bits um, service is having the effect that it's having. So that is uh, how you troubleshoot in five minutes svchost.exe related issues that are causing performance problems. And those performance problems might be your CPU, your memory, your disk I.O. or your network. It could be any of these four categories of things. I'm running a special tool here that's showing me the task manager a little differently than you know you would in Windows, but it's the same exact thing as that resource monitor that I just showed you. So if you're on the computer looking at the resource monitor, you can easily tell. Um, and you can look at the disk I.O. because disk I.O. is probably one of the number one areas that uh, we see the most problems with in terms of desktop performance. The CPU being maxed or being at 50% or 25% or something like that all the time until you stop a certain service is an indication of an issue. And this network bandwidth being, you know, drastically changing um, it, 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 just by stopping one service like that is definitely, you know, tells us where that problem is. So that's how you troubleshoot svchost.exe.